On to other news now, Israel's attempted moon landing failed moments before touchdown. It's the world's first privately funded lunar lander. It crashed and landed on the moon, while Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu commended the team's efforts and said that Israel will pull it off next time. Israel's hopes to make history by landing on the moon were literally dashed to the ground when the lunar lander crashed in its bid to touch down. We had a failure in the spacecraft. We unfortunately have not managed to land successfully. We are the seventh country to orbit the moon and the fourth to reach the moon's surface. And uh, it's a tremendous achievement up to now. The world's first privately funded lunar lander called Bereshit suffered an apparent engine and communications failure while attempting a soft landing on the moon. We finished an initial look at our telemetry data. It seems that the failure in our inertial measurement unit caused a chain of events in the spacecraft avionics which cut off the engines and caused us to lose the mission. Nevertheless, we have achieved an amazing success in bringing a spacecraft to the moon, almost bringing it to the landing. The mishap that was broadcast live on national television occurred in front of a packed audience that included Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Prime Minister applauded the team's efforts, saying that Israel will pull it off next time. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. <laughs> and I want to say it again. <laughs> The $100 million project was conceived by Spacil and financed by Israeli billionaire Morris Khan. Khan put on a brave face and commended the space agency's effort. Well, we didn't make it, but we definitely tried. And I think that the achievement of getting to where we got is really tremendous. I think we can be proud. <clears throat> With this mission, Israel was aiming to be the fourth country after the United States, the Soviet Union and China to land successfully on the moon. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.